played. Christo back on his um, Lucio he played that pretty much every game last last week. Actually, he did play that every game. Gotik, he actually was on Widowmaker. We saw him play a lot of Widowmaker last week, and he was fantastic on it, getting some really good headshots. This map's a really good point. So what happens? What you'll see on the defending team is they'll wait until you get underneath this bridge here, and hopefully Widowmaker will get a couple of headshots and then switch off. You don't want to stick on the Widowmaker on this map. Um, surprising thing here coming through on the defending side is Meek Meek on the Widow. Uh, not the Widow, sorry, the Mercy. Very uh, very surprising here. They're also taking that defense a little bit further up than we're used to seeing here. So what do you make of this? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you have the Witch Mercy skin, right? You got to show it off. So I imagine that's the reason for the move. It was the Reaper Pumpkin had. So I think that's a sufficient reason to uh, play this comp. Well, Halloween's um, over, so <laughs> a little bit late, if you ask me. A very standard push coming through. Bit of a weird defense, although that was a really good hop, hop forward. Got like got himself the first kill of the game, however, Kurama gets himself one back. It's a weird defense. They need to now move back into that defensive position and not sit there. However, Vortex manages to get him a kill, himself a kill. It is a one-for-one -one trade constantly as the payload is moving forward. This is a weird place now because they seem to be out of place. It looks to me like one-man team are really struggling as Vortex picks himself up yet another kill on his Reaper there. Oh, yeah, that was uh, a little bit uh, subpar positioning on the side of one-man team. Um, once the offensive team like pushes underneath the bridge, what you're supposed to do is fall back into the server room. Looks like this time they weren't fast enough for that and they tried to uh, like sandwich them, but it was now only one side to the sandwich. So it was a pretty sad sandwich, uh, not achieving too much with that. And so far it looks like uh, Pre-Med is just pushing relentlessly, giving up a few kills here and there, but um, not really able as a woman team to really stem the bleeding. So. See if they're able to, but with uh, the ultimate and Vortex... Oh, the Earthshatter gets thrown down. Keep in mind, Vortex has his ultimate available to him. Tranquility gets thrown up, but Savage Beast did charge forward and tried to knock him off the team. That allowed a kill to come through. Savage Beast also takes down the Mercy, so there is no res available. This is a very easy and very convincing push. They just played... Um, they just played uh, one-man team's defense completely against them as they go... Four for zero on the push. Deggers and Milk were the only two left up. And now the push is going into this last point. They have six minutes left to get this push. And they're doing this convincingly. Yeah, Gotiki switched to that, uh, that Tracer. And, uh, you know, understandably, after the first point, you don't win the Widow. Really now we see AG on the Widow, which is interesting to me. I'm not really able to make anything happen with it as of yet. Um, yeah, but good luck stopping it at this point. Yeah, it's it's a weird place to use the Widow. We still have Deggers, he has his ultimate, and so does Vortex. The Earth Shatter gets thrown down, but it doesn't actually hit on anyone. The Sound Barrier gets popped, and Vortex gets himself a kill. Darky picks up two on the back line as the push continues to go forward. Lucio even manages to pick up the kill. Vortex did throw down his ultimate, Deggers did not, and it looks like the point is just going to get easily walked on. That was a dominating win on the side of Freemade. They went off that game. Yeah, um, <laughs> like the, I don't think the payload actually stopped at any point there. I think it was a slow down, might be the word, but yeah, no, no stopping it's there. Down, but it didn't really stop at any point. Yeah, um, that started with um, G Joe, I think, was on the uh, G Joe on the Zara and. They got themselves in when you meant to fall back to the server room. They actually ended up being on completely the wrong side of the map and completely pinned away from their team. So instead of just walking forward or dying or anything, they actually just kind of sat, stood still and waited for the push to get go uh, to go through onto point A. Once they got that point A checkpoint, they then rejoined the team. So basically, it was a four v six, five v six, sorry, for a big chunk of that first half of the game. And especially when yeah. your Zara is the one that's missing, Zarya. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Ah, oh, it's fine. Uh, a little bit uh, disjointed on the side of team uh, one-man team. <laughs> team one-man team, wow, that sounds terrible. Uh, <laughs> just one-man team from now on. Um, a little bit disjointed, like after the uh, skirmish they had at the beginning, they were just trickling in, you know, like repeatedly and not able to make anything happen. 
Um, I would like them to see, you know, just take your time. There's no need to rush it as much as they did right now. Um, what we see Premier do is go for the really defensive play, not even going to try to get a pick. Uh, just go straight to the server room and try to hold there. Uh, giving up that first uh, chance at, like, getting a pick for a little bit more safety, which I think is fair. I think that seeing how incredibly one-sided that match just was, um, you can bank on the fact that you can, you know, provide a, you don't need to take any risks because you have and such they're just gonna time. Full, they're just going to call full straight to that server room. They don't need to push any deeper. AG, age, sorry. Um, he's looking to try and see if they're going to get that defense. However, it looks like pre-made are just going to go sit on that defensive point. Age is sitting on the other side of a wall, maybe going to try and get a bit of a uh, flank around. He's found Hitman. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to do anything else as he puts himself into spooky go form and gets himself out. Deggers takes the high ground. However, he does have to deal with Got Gothic getting the snipes across that bridge. So it's making it very hard for them to get that high ground. Got like gets himself a double kill straight off the bat as he just goes up. He gets a triple kill. <laughs> really well played. He is showing off the Widowmaker prowess here. They have a pro. And it looks like Savage Beast just charged forwards as Hitman secures the kill. And there's Vortex picking up another kill. Yeah, Gotiki just, you know, doing his thing on that Widowmaker. Um, using we don't know the, what to call him, uh, do we? Gotiki, Gotiki. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, he just. Told, I think it was Gotiki. So. Uh, if not, he can uh, correct us after this match, yeah, uh, which I assume is going to be soon, because so far... Oh, with the Earth Shatter. Uh, there was a pickup up top as well. The Nano Boost gets thrown down onto Savage Beast, and they go 3 for 0, and that is the fifth kill, because there was a kill right up above. Um, what I've been told from our producer is it's Gothic is the way to pronounce it. Why? It is? Uh, apparently. So oh, we're going to oh. call him Gothic from now on. Thank you, producer. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, especially. Um, what do you, what do one man team need to do here? Because they just they seem to fall over the second they get into this chokehold. Ag actually, Heroes Age, sorry, die. he managed to pick himself up the a kill and he switched on to the um, Genji. However, Savage Beast is just getting pinned down and he just gets shut down. That was a fantastic hook. Straight down into downtown as he secures himself a kill. They have two minutes on the clock and the full hog gets popped. And that goes hog versus hog. And Road Hog takes the kill. Which Road yeah. That was Especially uh, in those uh, in those small areas, whole hog is such a good way to just immediately demolish your opponent. Um, not really allowing them to, you know, do anything. And <laughs> rip Dave on the side of the Dave is just getting shut down. I don't actually know who Dave is, but I'm sure these oh, two Transcendence is thrown down, so they're looking to try and get this post. There's the Earth Shatter onto two. The Anna is left alone, and the Anna is slammed into the wall. Darky is next on the target. Bullhog gets thrown down as Degas pushes everyone back. Vortex takes one on the back. That's a massive Mercy revive. And the Sound Barrier is thrown down as the Earth Shatter gets thrown down one more time. Savage Beast goes savage as he swings his hammer. And Earth Shatter gets responded there. Robert's toy is left alone as Robert's toy just gets pinned into the wall and he gets killed. The push is almost there. Gotten is on the traitor and he is trying to pick up as much kills as he can. Degas is left alive, but not long for this world. Vortex is there. Vortex is looking for a little bit more. Genji helps forward on Age there, and Age is trying to get himself a kill, but he gets killed in return. 47 seconds left on the time, and it looks like Freemade managed to hold off the really strong shove from one man team. Yeah, so close, but like you said, amazing interaction um, on Chris, who, like, I think he got four people there. Uh, definitely three, I'm not entirely sure about the fourth one, but. Because of that, Savage Beast and the Earth Shadow as well, they're able to hold. And um, without any ultimates on the side of one man team, I don't see them picking this up. Uh, I like that G Joe is going for that, uh, you know, that, that Widowmaker just to show Gothic who's boss. Uh, unfortunately, Gothic already switched to the Tracer a while ago, so not proven no, too much. It's too little, it's too late. Degas gets himself the last kill of the game, and that is it. Pre made take round two yeah that's a good way to start your set <laughs> that was a very strong way to take your set yeah yeah nice nice way of uh, you know opening um, getting that the Gibraltar just completely demolishing it look at that golden hammer
Oh man, and the gold. Savage Beast oh, was a savage beast. Vortex does take play of the game on the Reaper. Let's see which one this was. I wasn't watching him as well. Wow. I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> you know when a Reaper sits up high, you know what's going to happen. He went completely off in that play. Just go hops down and pops the entire team. I don't think we're going to cut to a break. I reckon what we're going to do is we're going to cut straight into the next game. Um, so we'll try and get set up to the lobby as soon as possible. Robert's kill. He gets all the votes there in that game. Um, yeah, that makes sense. We're just That's... waiting for to load into the next game. I don't think we'll be playing Gibraltar. Uh, we'll find out very soon which one we'll be playing. Um, yeah. Although one of the teammates has left. 